Hi, my name is Ken, and this is a project that I made a while back, but it had some problems with it, so I redid it, and that's why I've called it Convolution 2.0. This is an upgrade. I've changed quite a few things on this. Let me uh, demonstrate what it does. I turn the crank on the side, and you can see various mechanisms doing their thing. Let's go over each of these mechanisms. This one here is called a Geneva wheel. Now notice this pin up here will make contact in these four different slots. Every time this wheel goes around, it turns this wheel one-fourth of a turn. So we really got a fourth of a one gear to reduction. But equally as important, notice this saddle in here. When this gear gets in place, this saddle locks it in place so you really can't move it. They use that concept in movie theaters for movie projectors and they also use it in Swiss watches. Therefore, Geneva, Switzerland, that's where it got the name from. This over here is called a planetary gear. It's called a planetary gear because you can think of this right here as the sun, and these are the planets that rotate around it. This is a very, very common gear uh, setup in the automotive industry. They use this in transmissions in tanks, trucks, cars, trucks. Very common in industry. Down here we have a rack and pinion gear. That transfers rot rotary motion here into horizontal motion. And that's used a lot in industry also. This one here really is the heart of the convolution. It uses a scotch yoke. There's a disc back here that's rotary motion. And that drives this peg up and down. And that has pins connected to on both sides. And they make motion too. So to give that something to do, I decided to just put a drum on this side and the piano on this side. And we can take a look at that and see that happening. The arm going up and down simultaneously. And then we'll take a look at the other side. We'll turn this around. And over on this side, we have a pair of elliptical gears. Egg-shaped gears. And then down here we just have a display of different linkages. It starts out with a rotary motion down here. And that's connected to a bell crank. <clears throat> and that ends up clapping a pair of hands. Notice how these gears continually go back and forth. And now let's take a look at the mechanisms on the inside. What makes this work? Primary power is distributed by a wood black walnut chain here. These four mechanisms, this one and this one, and this one, and this one are all connected together with the black walnut chain. And they're powered by this crank, and that goes through a set of 90 degree gears, and notice they're two different sizes. It's a two to one gear reduction. Otherwise it goes so fast you really can't see what's going on. So we've got a gear reduction here in a 90 degree setup. The primary drive then goes to this setup only, but the other three are tied to this one with that black walnut chain. On top here, we've got a power takeoff off of this setup with the drive shaft. This drive shaft goes across, and that's what powers the elliptical gears. This side of the drive shaft is a standard U joint. This side over here, we've got a slip joint so that drive shaft can slide back and forth. Down on the bottom here, we got a set of standard gears to drive the hands clapping. But that's powered by another set of 90 degree beveled gears. And then notice the, the pegs all over this thing. These pegs <coughs> are what hold this thing together. It's all temporary. There's no metal in this project whatsoever. Everything is removable, so anytime I decide I don't like that mechanism, I can just pull the pins out and redo it. <coughs> So again, there's no metal in this project whatsoever, and that is my project. Thanks for watching.